Simba, I'm great. How are you? Good. I'm about to cough that one time. No problem. <laughs> I've had a cough. <laughs> no, no problem. So, what's great about you as an actress is that I had the pleasure of being able to actually grow up watching you from Super Bad, Easy A, like literally, and see. I'm 26. Okay, all right. So you're a couple years younger than me. That yeah, makes sense. Literally grew up watching That's you. Wild. So you're in La La Land, Zombie Land. I mean, you're doing so La much. Land. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Yes. Exactly. But what is it like seeing your career unfold the way that it has so beautifully? I mean, it's hard to be objective about it because, you know, if you're like in the process, it's uh, I've just I don't even know. It's yeah. been it's been very amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's been a very lucky thing. But um, I don't know. It's been fun. It's been fun. <laughs> it's just enjoyable. That's all you can say. You know, when you're that amazing, you only have so many words. I, I feel you. And then also, too, just a fun question. Tallahassee was always after Twinkies in the first yeah. movie. If the zombie apocalypse broke out right now, what would be the snack that you'd miss the most? It's so hard. Is it a snack that has preservatives in the way that a Twinkie does, like that holds up in the apocalypse? It could be. Just anything. If you, if you, if you saw, if you knew that this snack was going to go missing. I think Kraft macaroni and cheese would be really hard to let go of because I make mine with only butter, I don't need milk. So as long as we have a freezers full of butter, I'd be fine. And I could make a lot of Kraft mac and cheese. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. So it's been 10 years. How does it feel being back on set or well, after finishing the movie for the second movie? Well, we were like kind of cautiously enjoying it. And when I say cautious, it was just because we wanted to make sure that this movie was as good as the first one. Because people like love the first movie so much that you know there's a risk with making a second one because you know you don't want to disappoint people that feel like it's personal for them you yeah. know and so every day we we're just like just kind of making sure that it was great yeah absolutely do you think that we're kind of like there's too many sequels right now do you do where do you f <laughs> i don't have an opinion about it but um but i guess maybe if they're not good i guess it's a bad thing but this one just was great i mean we waited 10 years because they wrote like a dozen scripts and we were waiting for the good one to come in absolutely. So, yeah, so I mean, maybe there are a lot of sequels, but this one was kind of like done in a way that I think is like probably the right way to do it. Absolutely. And fun question, Tallahassee, he was after Twinkies in, this, in the first film. If, this, if a zombie apocalypse broke out right now, what would be a snack that you'd totally miss? Oh, that I would miss? Mangoes. Mangoes. Yeah, of course. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Playing swagadocious okay. out here, Zoom. <laughs> I love it. Right. I know. So wait, how, what like ideas came into this though? Well, the thing is, this is actually covering up a look at me and my girlfriend just did. We uh, did Billy Bob Thornton and Angelina Jolie mm -hmm. on the carpet in 2000 at the uh, Gone in 60 Seconds premiere. Mm -hmm. She had the Billy Bob tattoo, and uh, I, I dressed as him. So that's sort of fun. Uh, but then I was like, oh, I'll wear this dope coat so I can feel like. Right, so I can feel dope. Yeah, so I can feel like, yeah, yeah like I did something, you know? Yeah, you I did know. something, I kind of cure. Well, you are doing a lot, because you have a new book called Mixed Feelings. How does, you know, obviously, I feel like that's a story that's not often told, and sometimes a little, kind of like, closeted a little bit, but what made you want to go about making a, a book that kind of highlights that 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 experience? Well, I mean, I, I grew up as a mixed-race person my whole life, and um, I sort of didn't know really how to place my race in this world that is increasingly polarized by the ideas of race and different sides of this uh, thing. And that maybe that um, uh, being mixed would offer a different perspective. Yeah. Um, or at least I'd be able to like kind of talk to other mixed people and try to say, is, is, do we have something in common? Is there yeah. something that we all have together? And what I found was is that actually, yes, we, uh, there's a mixed culture. No matter what your racial background, mixed people see, uh, have a different, they're, they're, they're not, they're not, they can't choose a side. And yeah. there's the blurred lines that happen in between of all of us. And so, um, so yeah, I started there and I started interviewing like thousands of people uh, over Instagram and email, uh, trying to get an idea of what being mixed is. And uh, then I wrote this book and I went on a book tour. And um, Do you feel like... What, when was the toughest time for you as a mixed person? I mean, when I started acting. Because, uh, it, you know, in the acting world, you're so often asked who you are and what's, what, what you, how you fill in to the industry in large. And I didn't have a slot. I didn't, I didn't look like anyone else. I didn't act like anyone else. I didn't come, um, I did not show up uh, as the expectation that they have of brown people, mm -hmm. Indian people. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so I guess uh, navigating that was sort of a difficult thing. And then from there, that's sort of like born of my ideas of like, okay, so maybe there's other people who feel the same way that I do. And I just wanted to reach out to them and sort of like start a conversation. Absolutely.
Yeah. Thank you so much and congratulations. First of all, I just want to say I'm a, fan, a huge fan since Little Miss Sunshine. Yeah, no, you are amazing. That literally sold it for me. But I wanted to know, I only have one question, but I want to know if a zombie apocalypse broke out right now, because Tallahassee, he was after Twinkies, what's a snack that you'd miss? Sour Patch Kids. Okay. I love Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> and also like baby bottle pops. Anything that's like sour. Mm. Warheads. I love that. I just sound like I'm obsessed with candy. No, it's this okay. is terrible. I think it's an Aries thing. We're Aries. I love sour. We, listen, birthday? April 10th. Listen, bow. Yes, we got to get into it. We really are the first. Fire signs forever. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Have a good